Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfat. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq of Oman on his country's National Day. His Majesty wished him good health and happiness and the Omani people further progress and prosperity under the wise leadership of His Majesty Sultan Haytham. His Majesty praised the depth of the good relations that bind the two countries and people, wishing them further development. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty King Mohammed of Morocco on his country's Independence Day. His Majesty the King wished the Moroccan monarch good health and happiness and the Moroccan people for their progress and prosperity under the wise leadership of King Hamad VI. His Majesty praised the depth of the good relations that bind the two countries and peoples, wishing them further development. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and issued Law Number no. 29 of 2021, amending Item D of Article 23 of Decree Law Number no. 54 of 2018, promulgating the Electronic Communications and Transactions Law. The law stipulates that the text of Item D shall be replaced as follows: Regarding non-accredited trust services providers, the person who has suffered damage shall prove that the harm has been caused intentionally or negligently by the service provider. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Decree No. 115 of 2021, endorsing the Kingdom's accession to the agreement on the establishment of the Global Green Growth Institute, adopted on June 20, 2012, in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Qadabiya Palace the President of Brazil, Jair Bolsonaro. Upon the President's arrival, he was accorded an official reception ceremony and the Brazilian National Anthem and the Bahraini Royal Anthem were played. The Brazilian President welcomed the Bahraini delegation and His Majesty the King welcomed the accompanying Brazilian delegation. His Majesty the King held bilateral talks with the President of Bolsonaro, during which they reviewed the cooperation ties and friendly relations between the two countries and means of bolstering them in various fields for the benefit of the two people. The Brazilian president expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for the warm reception and generous hospitality and His Majesty's efforts to develop bilateral ties. His Majesty the King and the Brazilian president held a discussion session in the presence of the Bahraini and Brazilian sides where His Majesty delivered the following speech. على الشرف سلام جمهورية البرازيل الاتحادية وسلام مملكة البحرين سلام صف
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة ملك البلاد المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه فخامة الرئيس جاير ميسياس بولسورانو رئيس جمهورية البرازيل الاتحادية أصحاب السمو أصحاب المعالي والسعادة أيها الحضور الكريم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته يتفضل سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة ملك البلاد المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه بإلقاء كلمته بهذه المناسبة فخامة الرئيس السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته يسرنا بداية الترحيب بكم ضيفا كريما وصديقا مقربا لمملكة البحرين ونرحب كذلك بحرم فخامتكم والعائلة الكريمة والوفد المرافق لكم ونود بهذه المناسبة الطيبة أن نعرب عن اعتزازنا البالغ بما تشهده علاقات الصداقة بين بلدينا من تطور ونمو في مختلف المجالات وأننا لنعتبر هذه الزيارة الكريمة خطوة إلى الأمام لتعزيز تعاوننا وتقاربنا ونهنئ فخامتكم على رعايتكم اليوم لافتتاح مقر سفارة جمهورية البرازيل الاتحادية في المنام متطلعين بدورنا للافتتاح الرسمي لسفارة مملكة البحرين في برازيليا قريبا لما سيكون لذلك من أثر كبير على تعزيز علاقاتنا الدبلوماسية ومصالحنا المشتركة 
ونشيد في هذا الإطار بمصادقة فقامتكم على اتفاقية الخدمات الجوية بين بلدينا ولما سيتم التوقيع عليه هذا اليوم لعدد من مذكرات التفاهم والاتفاقيات التي تعد خير دليل على ما نصب له معكم لتوطيد التعاون الثنائي في المجالات الاقتصادية والتجارية والاستثمارية وعلى وجه الخصوص في مجالات الطاقة والصناعة والزراعة والموارد الطبيعية والتكنولوجيا المتقدمة وأنها لفرصة طيبة نجدد فيها تقديرنا لرعايتكم وحضوركم الكريم للحفل الذي أقامه مركز الملك حمد العالمي للتعايش السلمي لتدشين إعلان مملكة البحرين في أمريكا الجنوبية والذي كان بلدكم الصديق أول محطاته وهو أمر يؤكد على ما نتفق حوله بضرورة الاستمرار في نشر قيم التسامح والتعايش والفكر المستنير ليعم الوئامة والسلام لخير البشرية جمعا وختاما أننا فخامة الرئيس سعداء بزيارتكم التاريخية لمملكة البحرين ويطيب لنا بهذه المناسبة أن نمنحكم أعلى وسام لدينا ألا وهو وسام الشيخ عيسى بن سلمان آل خليفة رحمه الله تقديرا واعتزازا بجهودكم الطيبة في تقوية علاقاتنا الثنائية وروابط الصداقة للمزيد من التعاون والتقارب بين بلدينا الصديقين ومرة أخرى نكرر الترحيب بفقامتكم وأعضاء الوفد المرافق متمنين الجميع إقامة سعيدة في مملكة البحرين ولبلدكم الصديق دوام التقدم والرقي والازدهار والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته يلقي الآن فخامة الرئيس جاير مسياس بولسورانو رئيس جمهورية البرازيل الاتحادية كلمة بهذه المناسبة السلام عليكم السلام عليكم Brazilian president also delivered a speech in which he expressed thanks to His Majesty the King for the warm welcome. He looked forward to opening a new page in the bilateral ties with the opening of the Brazilian embassy and invited His Majesty to visit Brazil. He said that the opening of the Kingdom's embassy in Brazil in 2018 was a first step towards building a fruitful relationship based on dialogue, trade, investment and the signing of a defense cooperation agreement. The president said that Brazil has a reliable diversified and sophisticated defense industrial base that is ready to meet Bahraini needs and affirmed that the two countries will contribute to the world's peace and stability. He further affirmed that Brazil welcomes people of different faiths and ethnicities based on which it welcomes Bahrain's efforts to promote religious tolerance and peaceful coexistence. The president looked forward to learning about His Majesty the King's initiative and visit the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence. He concluded his speech by reaffirming his commitment to strengthening cooperation with the kingdom for the benefit of the two nations and peoples. كانت الخطوة الأولى في عملية التقريب ونحن نفتتح سفارة من ذوي سرورنا أن نفتتح أيضا سفارتنا في إن البرازيل دولة هامة فيها الفرص الكثيرة ونحن نتطور لدينا تطور كبير في التجارة. ولدينا الشراكة مع مملكة البحرين شراكة هامة جدا نحن نطور يا جلالة الملك الشراكة المهمة التي تتجاوز الحوار السياسي ونتطور بسرعة بين إنما ينقصنا سوف نأخذه منكم وما ينقصكم يمكنكم أن تحصلوا عليه منا في التبادلات الثنائية لدينا التعاون الثنائي لتعزيز العلاقات بين دولتينا إن البحرين تقع في قلوبنا لقد 
حلمت كثيرا وتمنيت هذه الزيارة التاريخية لدينا الكثير لكي نقدمه لبعضنا البعض وخصوصا في السنوات الثلاثة الأخيرة لدينا الكثير من الجهود المشتركة التي يمكن أن تزيد من التدفق أو من الاستثمارات وكذلك لتعزيز شعبينا أعتقد أن زيارتي هنا سنتذكرها دائما في قلوبنا نحن لدينا نقاط تشابه كثيرة جدا ما تحتاجونه موجود لدينا ونمتلك في البرازيل قاعدة صناعية دفاعية موثوقة كبيرة ولدينا كثيرون من العرب يعيشون لدينا في البرازيل لدينا العديد من الوزراء هنا في هذا الاجتماع ونحن سنوقع العديد من الاتفاقيات ومذكرات التفاهم لكي نستفيد من هذه الشراكة وأغتنم وشكرا جزيلا يا صاحب الجلالة وشكرا للجميع يتفضل سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى الخليفة ملك البلاد المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه بمنح وسام الشيخ عيسى بن سلمان الخليفة His Majesty the King then conferred the order of Sheikh Isa bin Salman al-Khalifa premium class on the Brazilian president in appreciation of his efforts in supporting joint cooperation between the two countries. The president then conferred the grand color of the Brazilian National Medal of the Southern Cross on His Majesty the King, which is the highest Brazilian order given to leaders of countries and governments in appreciation of His Majesty's role and efforts in enhancing ties between in the two countries. His Majesty the King conferred the Order of Bahrain First Class on the wife of the Brazilian President. His Majesty also conferred the Order of Bahrain on national team player Ali Munferidi in appreciation of winning the World Jiu-Jitsu Championship, achieving first place and winning the gold medal, organized by the International Jiu-Jitsu Federation and was held in Abu Dhabi. His Majesty also conferred the Order of Competence on Sheikh Mohammed bin Saud bin Salman Al Khalifa, Ahmed Abdul Hamid Al Arabi. Bedr Jamal Dosiri, Zohra Abdul Razak Mbarak, and Hassan Maki Abdullah. His Majesty the King and the President handed over the medals to the players in appreciation of their efforts in winning gold medals. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa then presented a commemorative gift to the Brazilian President. بدر جمال الدوسري وسام الكفاءة من الدرجة الأولى صغرى عبد الرزاق مبارك وسام الكفاءة من الدرجة الأولى حسن مكي عبد الله وسام الكفاءة من الدرجة الأولى وبهذه المناسبة يقدم سمو الشيخ ناصر بن حمد آل خليفة حفظه الله هدية تذكارية إلى رئيس البرازيل in the presence of His Majesty the King and the Brazilian President, a number of agreements and memorandums of understanding between Bahrain and Brazil were signed. An agreement on mutual exemption from visa requirements for holders of diplomatic, special and official passports between Bahrain and Brazil, signed by both countries' ministers of foreign affairs. An MOU between the Mohammed bin Barak Al Khalifa Academy for Diplomatic Studies and the Rio Branco Institute of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Brazil, which aims to cooperate in the field of training diplomats and exchanging information and experiences signed by both countries' ministers of foreign affairs. An MOU in the field of sports cooperation between the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs of Bahrain and the Sports Special Secretariat of the Ministry of Citizenship of Brazil, which aims to strengthen cooperation in the field of sports signed by both countries' ministers of foreign affairs. An MOU between the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities and the Tourism Ministry of Brazil in the culture cooperation field, which aims to 
enhance cultural cooperation between the two sides to develop joint exchanges between them, signed by both countries' ministers of foreign affairs, and an MOU between the King Hamad Center for Peaceful Coexistence and the Ministry of Women, Family and Human Rights of Brazil, signed by the King Hamad Center Chairman of the Board of Trustees and the Brazilian Minister of Foreign Affairs. His Majesty and the Brazilian President congratulated on signing the agreements and MOUs which will contribute to the development of bilateral relations and strengthening cooperation between the two friendly countries. His Majesty the King hosted a lunch banquet in honor of the Brazilian President and the accompanying delegation. The honor mission was formed under the chairmanship of the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Said Ben Rashid Zayani. Bahrain and Brazil have issued the following joint declaration on the official visit of President Jair Bolsonaro to Bahrain. At the invitation of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the President of Brazil, Jair Bolsonaro, visited Bahrain on the 16th of November 2021. This is the first visit by a Brazilian head of state to Bahrain, which marks a new stage in the bilateral relations characterized by growing socio-cultural, political, trade and investment ties between the two countries. The President of Brazil was welcomed by His Majesty the King, where he inaugurated the Embassy of Brazil in the Bahraini capital. Recalling the opening in 2018 of the Embassy of Bahrain in Brasilia, the leaders highlighted the importance of these diplomatic representations for the establishment of an increasingly fluid dialogue between the two countries. The leaders expressed their intention to continue to strengthen the bilateral political dialogue through high-level visits. In this context, the President of Brazil invited His Majesty to visit Brazil. His Majesty the King awarded President Bolsonaro the Bahrain Order Premium Class of the Order of Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa. The President of Brazil awarded His Majesty the Grand Collar of the Brazilian National Medal of the Southern Cross. The leaders welcomed the remarkable expansion of bilateral trade through 2021, which demonstrates the complementarity between the two economies and the potential of commercial ties. Bilateral trade is expected to exceed the 2 billion US dollar mark by 2021 and Brazil is expected to become one of Bahrain's main suppliers. Both leaders reinforced their willingness to consider ways to diversify and further advance the bilateral trade agenda. The President of Brazil also participated in a business seminar organized by the Arab-Brazilian Chamber of Commerce in Manama. Recognizing the important history of relations between the two countries' private sectors, the leaders agreed to make efforts to bring them even closer together. In this regard, they welcomed the signing of a Memorandum of Understanding on cooperation between the central banks of Brazil and Bahrain, as well as the signing of a Memoranda of Understanding between the Arab-Brazilian Chamber of Commerce and the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, between the Arab-Brazilian Chamber of Commerce and the Federation of Gulf Cooperation Council Chambers, the FGCCC. Convinced of the competence and capacity of Brazilian agribusiness to guarantee Bahraini food security, the leaders discussed the possibilities of cooperation in the area of agriculture. They agreed to establish channels of dialogue between health authorities in order to expand the access of Brazilian agribusiness products to the Bahraini market. The leaders reaffirmed the importance attached to cooperation in the area of defense and expressed the desire to sign an agreement on cooperation in defense, which will form the basis for joint initiatives in the area. They expressed their intention to establish cooperation in the area of defense products that transcends commercial aspects, but also emphasizing joint initiatives in the area of research and development. Bahrain welcomed the participation of the Brazilian Navy in the Combined Maritime Forces Multinational Naval Partnership based in Bahrain. The President of Brazil participated in a special session of the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence. The leaders agreed to undertake joint initiatives under the auspices of the Declaration of Bahrain, recognizing the importance of tolerance and interfaith dialogue 
in promoting lasting peace in the Middle East and the world. They welcome the signing of a memorandum of understanding between the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence and Coordination of Freedom of Religion or Belief, Conscience, Expression and Academics linked to the Ministry of Women, Family and Human Rights in Brazil. Highlighting the importance of promoting tolerance and coexistence to advance regional stability and economic prosperity, President Bolsonaro welcomed the 2020 signing of the Abraham Accords between Bahrain and Israel. The Bahraini side reiterated that the Abraham Accords represent a historic opportunity that facilitates cooperation, peacemaking and interfaith dialogue. Emphasizing that mutual knowledge and bonds between societies form the best basis for a strong and resilient bilateral relationship, the leaders agreed to encourage cooperation initiatives in the areas of culture, education, tourism and sports. The leaders welcomed the signing of the Memorandum of Understanding for Sports Cooperation and expressed the importance of jointly identifying priority areas for collaboration in this area. They also congratulated themselves on the signing of an agreement on cultural cooperation, which paves the way for the accomplishment of joint initiatives and the expansion of cooperation in areas such as the conservation of cultural heritage, translation of literary works, exchange between cultural centers and museums, among others. The leaders also welcomed as a symbol of the political ties between their two countries the signing of an agreement on visa waiver for diplomatic and official passports as well as a memorandum of understanding on cooperation between diplomatic academies. The latter provides for the exchange of students and diplomats including participation in their respective training programs and the exchange of information on study and research programs, courses, seminars and other academic activities. They highlighted the entry into force last August 28th of the Air Services Agreement, which opens perspectives for the regular operation of routes by airlines from both countries, expanding the interconnectivity between Brazil and Bahrain. They recognized the relevance of the instrument, which, by establishing a legal framework for bilateral air transport, will strengthen connectivity between the two countries with benefits not only economic but also social, as it facilitates the bilateral flow of people and goods, favoring new investments and promoting greater social and cultural interaction between our peoples. The two leaders welcomed the certificate marking Brazil's membership in the global sea-to-air logistics hub and looked forward to establishing direct flight between Bahrain and Brazil in the near future. As part of the process of building the legal framework for the future strengthening of the bilateral relationship, the leaders agreed to continue negotiating cooperation agreements in education, legal and legal matters, investment facilitation and technical cooperation, among other topics. Recognizing the importance of the Gulf Cooperation Council for Middle East Peace and Security, Brazil welcomed recent positive developments in relations between its members. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the Sultan of Oman, His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Darg Al Saeed on Oman's National Day. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister sent a similar cable to Oman's Deputy Prime Minister for the Council of Ministers, His Highness Sayyid Fahd bin Mahmoud Al Saeed. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the Moroccan monarch, His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco on Morocco's Independence Day. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister sent two similar cables to the Crown Prince of Morocco, His Royal Highness Prince Mouali Hassan bin Mohammed and the Prime Minister of Morocco, Aziz Al Khanouj. The personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed the continuous achievements of Bahrain's one team are thanks to the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the follow up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He praised the achievements of the team in the NHRA World Championship for cars that witnessed many challenges but was able to prove its capabilities on an international level to assume the third third and fourth place. He praised the high abilities and level of the team and hailed the members' keenness to achieve the highest places. His Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to all the sponsors and affirmed that their support will contribute to making more achievements. 
The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Hussani Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the president of the Youth and Sports Committee at the Shura Council, Radha Munfaradi, and members in the presence of the first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, chairman of the General Sports Authority, and president of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, Hussani Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, secretary general of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, and the minister of Youth and Sports, Ayman bin Tawfiq Al Muayyad. His Highness affirmed the important role played by the youth and sports sectors in various fields through shaping clear goals in order to continue prosperity and growth in light of the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Prince um, Prime Minister bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He highlighted the importance of the committee and its prominent role in contributing to developing the youth and sports sector in Bahrain and highlighting the youth's ambitions and their aspirations in defining clear targets to allow these important sectors to prosper in the kingdom. His Highness pointed out that the committee has paved the way for accomplishing many achievements in the sports and youth areas through its prominent role in the past period, stressing the significance of continuing efforts. Munferdi underlined that His Highness's backing has contributed to demonstrating the role of youth and sports in Bahrain, stating that the committee's efforts are inspired by His Highness's and different the Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mbarak Al Khalifa hosted a dinner banquet at the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence in honor of the President of Brazil, Jair Bolsonaro. In attendance were Shura Council Chairman Ali bin Salah Al Salah, ministers, guests, and the delegation accompanying the Brazilian President. Cordial talks were held focusing on the strong bilateral relations and steadily growing cooperation across all sectors between the two countries. Under the patronage of the Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mbarak Al Khalifa, and in the presence of the President of Brazil, this is Bahrain, organized a celebration at the Isa Cultural Center on the sidelines of the Brazilian President's visit to the kingdom, where the President delivered a speech in which he valued the invitation of His Majesty the King to visit Bahrain and the great welcome he received, praising the strong relations that bring together Brasilia and Manama. He stressed the importance of the understandings that were made with Bahrain which will increase the volume of the concluded agreements between the two countries. The celebration of This is Bahrain came in conjunction with the International Day for Tolerance.
Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa inaugurated the opening ceremony of Abdullah bin Khalid Center for Parents Care in the presence of Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak delivered a speech in which he recalled the contributions of the late Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid Al Khalifa. His Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his royal order to establish Abdullah bin Khalid College for Islamic Studies. He added that this launch is to commemorate the name and the work of the late and appreciate his role and efforts in the humanitarian field. His Highness also expressed thanks to Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa for patronizing this event and wished the center further success. Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa affirmed that Bahrain is keen on taking care of the elderly and provide them with the highest living standards thanks to the care and support of His Majesty the King and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He recalled the contributions of the late and affirmed that his work will forever be remembered. The chairman of the Supreme Council for Health, Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, also delivered a speech in which he recalled the achievements and his contribution to the democratic march of the kingdom.
The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fawzia Zainal, held an official parliamentary meeting in Islamabad on the occasion of her visit to Pakistan with the parliamentary delegation, where they affirmed the strengthening of parliamentary cooperation in regional and international forums. Zainal affirmed the depth of relations and joint cooperation in all development fields between Bahrain and Pakistan under the leadership of His Majesty the King and the President of Pakistan, and in light of the active cooperation between the government of Bahrain, headed by His Royal Highness. The Crown Prince, the Prime Minister, and the Prime Minister of Pakistan. She praised the Bahraini Pakistani relations, which are based on solid foundations of joint action, and the keenness to strengthen them, which is reflected in the course of bilateral relations to achieve the aspirations of the two countries and peoples and to continue cooperation in the economic and commercial sectors within the framework of joint agreements. For his part, the Speaker of the Pakistani National Assembly, Asad Ghaisar, noted the depth of relations and distinguished cooperation, stressing that Bahrain is a strategic country for economic investment for Pakistan and the countries of the region praising the comprehensive development process achieved by Bahrain under the wise leadership of His Majesty the King. Under the framework of the official parliamentary visit to Pakistan led by the Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fawzi Zainal, an MOU was signed with the President of the National Assembly, Asad Qaisar, to bolster the bilateral parliamentary relations. The signing reflects the bilateral friendly relations and the keenness of both countries to further enhance these relations in various fields. The President of Brazil, Jair Bolsonaro, lauded the distinguished relations with Bahrain, stressing his country's keenness on expanding economic cooperation, particularly trade sectors of multilogy, water and food. He stressed a keen interest in building a partnership with Bahrain and exploring economic and investment opportunities, highlighting facilities and open economic environments in his country. Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, BCCI Chairman Samir Nas, was addressing the Bahrain-Brazil Forum organized in CCI in the presence of President Bolsonaro. He highlighted the kingdom's efforts to develop bilateral relations with Brazil and hailed the initiatives led in this regard by His Majesty the King and supported by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He also added that last December, the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence and in cooperation with the Bahrain's embassy in Brazil announced from Brazil Bahrain's declaration in South America. He stressed keen interest in building a partnership with the Kingdom of Bahrain and exploring economic and investment opportunities, highlighting facilities and open economic environments in his country. Nas commended bilateral relations by the Bahrain and Brazil, stressing keenness on further bolstering joint ties through the Memorandum of Understanding signed by BCCI and the Arab Chamber of Commerce in Brazil. On the sidelines of the forum, two Memorandums of Understanding were signed aimed to develop economic and trade cooperation. On the sidelines of the official visit of the President of the Federative Republic of Brazil to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Jair Bolsonaro, and upon the invitation of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abd al bin Rashid Zayani, a press conference was held at the Media Center at the Isa Cultural Center. The Foreign Minister made a statement regarding this visit and reviewed pivotal issues that were discussed and agreed upon between both sides. Dr. Zayani said that His Majesty the King and the Brazilian President held important talks which reflected the close relations between both countries based on mutual respect, constant communication and a sincere desire to develop joint cooperation in all areas. The minister also said His Majesty the King congratulated the Brazilian president on the inauguration of the headquarters of the Brazilian embassy and that His Majesty was looking forward to the inauguration of Bahrain's embassy in Brasilia soon. Dr. Zayani said the Brazilian president participated in a business seminar organized by the Arab-Brazilian Chamber of Commerce and also participated in a special session of the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence. His Majesty the King bestowed on the Brazilian President the Order of Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa an appreciation of his good efforts in strengthening friendship and cooperation. Dr. Zayani also said that a number of memorandums of understanding and agreements were signed between the two sides.
President Jair Bolsonaro officially opened Brazil's embassy in Bahrain, attended by the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Zayani, marking a remarkable progress in the relations between the two countries. The President Bolsonaro expressed happiness over the event and said that he looks forward further strengthening the bilateral ties in the interests of the two people. Dr. Zayani hailed the development in the relations between the two countries and the presence of the President at the historic event. He welcomed the incoming Brazilian mission and expressed confidence in a bright future for the bilateral friendship. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs expresses the Kingdom of Bahrain's strong condemnation of what was circulated in the British media regarding the malicious abuses from a number of members from the House of Commons in the UK against the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia with the aim of harming its interest in a paid service for lobbies targeting the region's security and stability. Bahrain commends the decision of the British Prime Minister to start taking the necessary measures to curb illegal behavior aimed at offending states. It also stresses the importance of the GC state's commitment to a unified policy to confront any abuse targeting any of the GCC states in compliance with El Arla agreement, the status of the GCC countries and previous agreements. The British newspaper The Times published a report proving the admission of two British MPs, Leila Moran and Crispin Blunt, using their offices in the House of Commons to engage in paid non-governmental work to attack and condemn Saudi Arabia within an electronic symposium discussing human rights in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Experts criticized the use of what they called pay-to-play towards a serious issue such as human rights and said that this gives a bad reputation of MPs by using them by one country to attack another one in reference to Doha, which prompted MPs to attack Riyadh. The Times said in its report that the incident raises serious questions about the ability of outside parties to buy pressure groups and the involvement of MPs who speak on behalf of the British government.